Hello there, my name is Antonio Zapater and I'm a pre-sales consultant at the Marcadero. And in this video, we'll show you how you can deploy the business intelligence app Yellowfin using Docker in hopefully less than five minutes, and then connect it to another application using Yellowfin's API and web services, in this case, a Delphi application. As you can see, these steps couldn't be easier. We just need to execute this command in your Docker environment, and that will pretty much create everything for you. Once it's deployed, it will initialize your Yellowfin demo server, and you will be able to access it through the browser. The only bit you need to do is to load the trial license key you can request on their website, but that's very simple. This demo is also great to play around with Yellowfin's capabilities and see its nearly infinite options when it comes to business intelligence and data analysis. And after that, we will connect to Yellowfin's API from a Delphi application we have published on GitHub and access remotely to the reports, data, etc. But I want to stress that this is just one example and then you can access from any other app or service of your choice. Okay, without any further ado, let's begin. Here we are on the terminal. And in my case, I'm using a Linux machine with a Docker environment installed, but you can use whichever uh, environment you prefer, Windows or Mac, doesn't really matter. So let's paste the Docker command I was talking about. And as you can see, it's a very simple command. We only need to specify in which port we want to publish the service. Let's press enter. And the first time you deploy this is it may take a few minutes depending on, on the hardware uh, you're deploying it because it's a demo image and it brings lots of demo data, uh, reports, dashboards, it configures lots of things under the hood for you. So the first time you run it, maybe it takes a couple of minutes. So let's speed things up a bit. Okay, the system has started. Now to verify that everything is working, we need to open a browser and access the IP where we have Docker and the port we chose to deploy the service in. In my case, this IP and the port 9999. And we have access. Now, what we need to do is to copy and paste the default user and password. You can find this in the blog post in the link down below. And there you go, we're in. The only bit we need to configure to make this work is to load the li uh, license. Uh, you can request a trial on Yellowfin website and the license you, you will receive is just a, a file. I have mine here in the desktop, so let's load that already. There you go. We press preview and we see all the uh, info that comes with the license, summit. And there you go, the license is loaded. To verify that everything works, we can come here to the burger menu, come to, for example, my dashboards and come to this one. Uh, also, I want to point out that this is a very good way to, to know more about Telefin and the possibilities that it brings because all the options are here available for you during the trial uh, period. And you have plenty uh, of options to, to deep dive in and, and play around with. Okay, now we're coming to Red Studio. And what we need to do is to clone that um, repository I was talking about before. I have another tab here. And we just need to clone the repository. This is going to take just a few seconds. Okay. Let's open the project. This should be documents, telephone. Uh, the, the project comes in two different flavors. Uh, both are nearly identical. One is for FireMonkey, the other one's VCL. I'm going to open the FireMonkey one. Okay, let's build it. And the first time we run it, the only thing we're going to need to do is to change the 
base URL where we have our Yellowfin instance. In my case, again, is the same IP we've accessed through the browser. And it already comes uh, with a default user and password pre-configured. You can change that if you want. And to verify that everything works, we press test. And if it, get, if it gets green, it means that we're connected. The next step, we can come to reports. And now it's going to start bring, uh, bringing all the info straight from the Yellowfin instance. Um, these are all the reports that are already preloaded uh, in Yellowfin. And we can access them straight away here in the Delphi application. Even though I don't want to get into too much detail about how this um, project works, because it's not the purpose of this video, it's just pretty much uh, pulling all the information from the Yellowfin API and converting that to Delphi project. And as you can see here, we have access to filters and you can use favorites as well. And you can have all your information used in a different way within your Delphi application. Thank you very much. Here you have some of the most important links I've been talking about during the video. In case you have any other questions or any doubts about the process uh, down there, you have my details, so feel free to contact me and see you in the next video.